Hey guys, what's up? Now we're here back in another video. So today I'm here doing top legendary summon summons. My last summons um, for a little while. I gotta build up my stones up a bit. Um, so if we compare these with the JP summon, I don't think there's one different card. I think it's the exact same banner. Um, and it's it has one, two, three, four, five. Six. It has about one second, I'm sure. Six. About six cards you just don't want. But it has one, two. It has about four good cards, really good cards, and the Shadow Dragon Sack is kind of small anyway, so it's good to build up your collection. My main hope is that I can pull these guys. They're really good units, especially with their passive skill. Attack and defense 77% when performing a super attack. If it's all super attack, plus key one per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. Um, so that's seven for 144, no, 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 that, that's incorrect, 154% at, at, up attack when you do a ultra, um, super attack. They also get the fence up if you, I think that's just a, I wish they could just let you check it, but um, I think that's just the normal super attack, and the super attack is like the opening, and I forgot to check Vegeta. Vegeta, uh, not Vegeta, but Super Baby 2, or Baby Vegeta, um, so Super Baby 2, life forms, artificial life forms, not that good of a lead, um, but this passive though. Key plus three, attack defense plus an additional key plus three, and attack 50% when there is a pure sans category on the team. There's, a, there's quite a few enemies. Plus an additional key plus three, and attack 50% when there is a hybrid sans enemy. Not as common. High chance of turning into giant ape when HP is 40% or less. Once only. So he's not that bad of a unit. He's a great addition to the great ape team. And he's a really good artificial um, life form or android. I don't know why it has to be artificial life forms, but whatever. They have to slide in Majin Buu in there. So, three summons. You already know what I want. If I get Vegeta, I will be hype. Alright? I'm not saying I won't be hype. I'm just hoping I can get the Goku and. Not the, the Goku Pan and Trunks. Okay, I thought I heard something else. Like, it's do or die. Alright, so starting this off with Jacko. Alright. Uh, Yamcha. Oops. Master Roshi, full max power. Um, if you guys, um, have any stones, or you, if you had stones, tell me what you pulled on this... Okay, I will take it. She's a great addition to the fusion category team. I will. will I'm really happy that I got it. I will take that. Mercenary Tao. Oh, another one. Oh, okay. That's really, really... That would, that would be really, really hard to pull. The fact that she was in the beach, you get the GSSR, and just as a random SSR, that's pretty low chance. But if I check this... Attack, keep all allies key plus 3 when HP is 30% or above. That is really good. She is not a bad unit by any means, especially for fusion category team. Which you saw, I pulled another one of, if you saw the last video. So that's great. Um, we don't talk about that. Goku, Krillin, 
and all right two three okay okay got my hopes my hopes up a bit hi Napa Master Roshi trucks um I want to mention um so I said so what I heard was that we should see a restaurant because there's another event coming for um, Golden Week, but we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I might have already talked about that in my past video. I just want to say that again because I feel like that's kind of important. Also, if you guys were, hop on Dokkan right now, if you don't know, we got number one in the Google Play Store. 30 free stones, a bunch of tickets, a bunch of zenny, a bunch of just a lot of stuff. So make sure you hop on Dokkan and collect your rewards. So I feel like this is probably the last one. Like we're definitely not getting anything else. Um, unless they release a LR banner. Like a guaranteed LR banner. Fujita. Shugesh. That must mean something godly to truth. Ah, TM. Super Saiyan Gohan. Okay, he's actually not that bad of a unit, so I will take that in my unfeatured pool, in my GSSR, as a featured unit. You know, it's gonna be right. Not a bad, um... What, what am I trying to say? Not a bad leader skill, um, not a bad... It's actually a really good super attack that's guaranteed ceiling. That's useful, that's very useful. Attack and defense 80% plus an addition 10% and effective against all types when the en target enemy is done. Not as useful, but it, it's he's a really good card when paired up with the Freezer. The Freezer is really good when paired up with him. So, I'm gonna do about. How much do I have? Alright, I'm gonna bring this down to 50. So, 3. Ticket summons, so 15 cards that I'm pulling. Maybe I'll pull something hype. Um, I just felt like this video would be a tad bit too short if I just did those three multis. Um, Super Saiyan 2. It was a full squad, so maybe I'll just not pull all trunks cards. As soon as I say that, he shows up. Go on, team. Nappa. I wonder, I wonder if there's like, okay, I'll take it. Any SSR you can pull on a ticket banner is not a bad SSR. It's a free SSR, I mean. Um, I wonder if there's a one Dokkan player who hasn't pulled one SR trucks. There's, there's gotta be one that exists. And summon on the ticket banner, and the Goku banner, the SSJ4 banner. And the SSJ4, the SSJ4, Goku and Vegeta banners, respectively. There has to be that one savior who hasn't gotten harassed by SR Trunks. Not you. And Vegeta. One last multi to cap off the video. As I said earlier, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to see more content like this. Featured unit, featured unit. <laughs> so this is where it ends. Two, three. All right. We already know we're getting a featured unit. That's guaranteed. I was hope you want to get unfeatured units because then that means you have a chance of getting LR. But they're they're not bad at featured units. All right. Krillin. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I will take that. I will take it. He's not a bad card by any stretch of the imagination. He is a tank. A tank. Alright. So, I have a few cards I need to awaken. Um, I'm just so happy. Alright. Because Dokkan was getting a little bland. I had a few units I just have in the back that I just haven't 
That can't be ours to like awaken. I, if you can sh see this, we just have so much Zenny. Uh, let me check. I have 80 million Zenny at the moment, and I, I just bought 10 million Zenny. Not bought. I used some of the um, Baba. What are they called? Let me check. I just used some of the. I just used some of the anniversary coins. Jeez, I'm not feeling too good. I used some of the anniversary coins, and I was lucky enough to, uh, um, not not lucky enough. I was able to get ten Hercules, so I'm not poor after awakening all five of these easy eight cards that need to finish awakening. But um, and awakening cards is like one million zenny too, so. It's never bad to have more than me. Um, I would say not a bad haul. I really, I'll take any fusion unit I can get that's remotely good. Um, that Cell, he's not bad. AGO, Freezer already have like three. Um, and I'll take this Android 16. He is not a bad card by any stretch of the imagination. He's a really good. So. I have six stones. I'm gonna start saving up for any possible banner that will come out that is heat. I will summon once or twice on Killer Khalifa. If I can pull him, yay. If not, I'm not gonna throw a fit over it. Anyways, if you guys um, have summoned, um, tell me anything hype that you pulled, and if you pulled nothing, then tell that in the comment section below. And we will console you guys. Hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. I already said that earlier. Peace.